Ooh, 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 ooh. Get the dogs out. Something bizarre is happening to the fish in the lower keys. So we have a very bizarre, a very strange story taking place in Florida. And I know what you're probably saying, really mental horror, a strange story taking place in Florida. What's next? You're going to tell us the sky is blue? But this video is not about a Florida man or a skunk ape sighting. This video happens to be about fish. Fish located in a very eerie part of Florida. The fish in the Florida Keys, more so the Big Pine area, which is essentially a part of the Bermuda Triangle, are acting very odd. They're acting very erratic. Nobody has an answer. Scientists came out to this location, they studied this location, and they are absolutely stumped. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this news story from Local News 10, and then I'm going to go ahead and give my take at the end and kind of theorize as to what's happening here. Now at 6 o'clock, there's a growing marine mystery in the Florida Keys. People are reporting that they have seen many species of fish acting very erratically. And even worse, endangered sawfish have been found dead. So what could be causing all this? Local Times' Louis Aguirre traveled to Big Pine Key to find out. Louis. I can tell you that since December, FWC officers have been working with researchers and fishing guides and uh, scientists from Florida Gulf Coast University testing and sampling these waters. But as of tonight, they are no closer to finding out why this is happening. Ooh, 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 get the dogs out. Something bizarre is happening to the fish in the lower keys. That's not something I've ever seen fish do, ever. Since December, 20 critically endangered small tooth sawfish have been reported dead, according to the latest numbers from FWC. This is a very large species, and the size of the sawfish we're seeing uh, coming inshore and uh, eventually dying. And it's not just sawfish. More than a dozen species of all sizes, from pinfish to grouper, have been observed acting erratically, spinning, and clearly distressed. And longtime residents, like technical diver Greg Fersenworth, are very worried. It's disturbing. If it keeps going like this, it's the uh, end of an ecosystem as we know it. The event seems to be centered between Cudjo and Big Pine Key, but there have been sightings stretching from Key West to Marathon. You can pretty much see it every single day until last Saturday. And you're seeing more and more species exhibit this behavior? Yes. But no one knows what's causing it. So far, early testing has ruled out red tide, low oxygen, disease, and other pathogens. But according to FWC, high levels of a toxic algae have been detected, though what it is is still a mystery. Right now, we do not have a smoking gun relative to a particular toxin that may be causing these issues. Donna Hart, manager of Lower Keys Tackle, stresses so far this has only been documented inland and says offshore fishing has not been impacted. I don't want people to be afraid to come and enjoy the Florida Keys and get out on the water and go fishing and go snorkeling. There's no impact, no impact whatsoever beyond our near shore waters that I'm aware of right now. But scientists remain baffled. We don't know if this is, you know, just a preamble, if this is going to get a lot worse. We don't know if it's going to spread to other areas. We have no idea, right? I really do think we need to get on top of this. Yeah, very troubling indeed. Uh, so far, there does not appear to be any human impact from either contact with the water or ingesting affected seafood. However, FWC is stressing that if anyone catches a fish that appears to be behaving erratically or bizarrely, do not eat it, do not consume it. Contact FWC straight away. We'll have a lot more on the story this coming Wednesday on Don't Trash Our Treasure and right now on Local10.com. So as you just had watched, the fish in Florida, they're acting very wonky. They're acting very bizarre and weird. They're acting like they have some kind of mad fish disease, something that would be observed in cow and deer. Mad cow disease, mad deer disease. Now, before we go ahead and begin theorizing about our food sources being tainted once again, we have to look at this very eerie location in Florida. This is being observed in the fish located in the Florida Keys which, like I said, is also the Bermuda Triangle. These fish, not only are they dying, but they have also been observed to be spinning. And this could possibly be because something is throwing them off their course. Something is throwing their navigation off. There is evidence that some animals actually use Earth's magnetic field to help guide them. They use this as a sense for navigation. What some people may not know is that the Bermuda Triangle is one of those rare places that actually give off a true north reading on a compass. Now, the Earth's magnetic north pole is not the same 
as its geographic north pole. Now this means that compasses usually do not point exactly north. But the Bermuda Triangle is an exception to this rule because the Bermuda Triangle has what's called the Agonic Line. The Agonic Line is a place on Earth's surface where true north and the magnetic north align. Now, a lot of ships and planes have been lost in the Bermuda Triangle, and it's been theorized that we can actually blame the Agonic Line. Pilots and those who navigate are used to reading a false compass. They are used to reading a false north, and so they work around it. But in this location, they do not realize what they are looking at is actually a true north reading, and so they're getting lost. So let's say that theory is indeed 100% true. This would explain the many disappearances that take place in the Bermuda Triangle. Then this would also mean that many of the aquatic life, many animals in the Bermuda Triangle also use the agonic line to navigate. But what would happen if the Earth's North Pole and the Earth's South Pole start to shift? What if the poles start to flip? Could this be why fish are observed in this location spinning because they are having problems navigating as they usually do? They state that the Earth's magnetic pole swapping locations is an event that takes place every 300,000 years or so, but the last flip occurred around 780,000 years ago. So what they are saying is that a magnetic reversal may be imminent. Now get this. Fish acting erratic in the water is not the only thing that would happen if a potential flip occurs. They state that we could see an increase in cancer rates. What have we been seeing in the news lately? Why are so many young people getting cancer? Orange County Hospital sees troubling increase in cancer cases among young adults. Cancer incident rising among adults under 50 New report says, leaving doctors searching for answers. Global cancer rates are expected to rise 77% by 2050. Nobody knows why there's a sharp increase in cancer. Now one can theorize it's because many of the things that's put into our food or injected into our bodies, but given the fact that fish can't navigate and they are acting bizarre, I would not take a magnetic flip off the table. They also state that we would see environmental disturbances, which basically we are. They are even stating that this extreme weather is our new normal and the failure of power grids, which we've also been seeing lately in the news with communication going down, certain businesses going down, which they're blaming on hacking. They're blaming on solar flares. They're blaming on inexperienced workers. We can't get a real reason as to why these businesses went down. They seem to be all over the place with an explanation, but these are the explanations that they're giving us. The powers that be know the real answer as to what's going on. They know that a flip is imminent. This would also explain why we have all these billionaires cashing their stocks and building these underground fortresses, these underground bunkers. There's actually a theory called the Adam and Eve theory and a book called the Adam and Eve story which was published in 1965 by Chan Thomas. Now, Thomas was formally associated with the United States Air Force. This book, The Adam and Eve Story, was actually partially published by the CIA in 2013. And in this book, it states that the Earth's magnetic poles flip 90 degrees every few thousand years, leading to the demise of various ancient civilizations. Now, some do believe that Earth's magnetic poles flipping might not be this big apocalyptic scenario that we believe it to be. But the fact that we have these billionaires, these wealthy people hiding underground, building these bunkers, these fortresses, something is indeed coming. They are preparing for something. Now, even if you want to believe this is just wealthy people being wealthy people, they're bored, they have a lot of money, they don't know what to do with it, Always look towards the animals. The animals are always the first ones to let us know that something is not right. Something is wrong. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like. As any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.